I do want to quickly show how cool my shirt is. Wine more, bark less. Message to my chihuahuas, all four. Ch -ch. Well, hello there, and welcome to my channel, Wrinkles and Sprinkles Beauty, where we are going to do a full face of bite beauty today in memoriam. I love Bite Beauty. They're one of my favorites, no lie. Especially their lip products, their lipsticks. So I'm pretty sad. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time, so we're gonna do a quick Bite Beauty face, but I just wanted to pay my respects to Bite Beauty, a brand that I truly loved every item of theirs that I ever tried. Really, really liked it, so I'm sad to see them go. So let's get started with a face. The first thing I'm gonna do is the Change Maker um, Skin Optimizing Primer. I have the one for normie, norm, <laughs> normie, normal to oily skin because that's what I have. I really like it. It's pretty um, mattifying. Like I do have all my skincare on already. Um, I just did a um, lotion SPF, the Bliss, because I believe this has silicone, like a silicone type base, and I don't want any pilling. And I do want everyone to notice that I said it correctly. Pilling, not peeling. All right, I'm gonna pop this, especially in my T-zone, obviously. And then take it out from there. Just a little bit of a uh, mattifying effect there. But, uh, Looks good, of course, because it's Bite Beauty. Why are they closing? Next, I'm gonna go in with my Change Maker Supercharge Micellar Foundation. The only thing I don't like about this is I think I, um, I have L15, and I think it's not like a super match for me, which kind of stinks, but other than that, it's great. Put some on my hand. Out way too much. That's awesome because I can't get more. <laughs> Gonna rub it in to some places. Oh, I can make it work. Voice. All right. Go into the sponge to press it in. Mm. Smells kind of good too. You know that are, it's my hands from the <laughs> Bath and Body Works soap that I used to wash my hands before I started makeup. One or the other. All right, just my She Glam sponge that I always use and press that in. So I did hear from um, Kelly Gooch. I watched her video this morning and she mentioned that they are closing down Bite Beauty, but they are keeping all of the lip labs open. I don't think there is a Bite lip lab in Indiana anywhere that I know of, so it doesn't help me very much, but lucky you guys that do have one somewhere near you. <laughs> all right, let's have that under that eye. There we go. That's their micellar foundation. Color actually isn't too bad right now. Um, I have been applying self tanner, so that may be helping, but yeah, I'm impressed. Not bad. All right, next, let's um, apply a little bit of powder. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk today, people. <laughs> apply a little bit of powder in my t-zone the only thing i don't currently have anymore is the um their powder so i'm gonna go just use my toothpaste it's just a translucent words are hard it's just a translucent powder all right big old powder brush and we're just gonna pop that This is one of my favorite powders to disguise my pores or make them look less um, obvious. Unfortunately, I do 
not believe this one is talc free. So Hannah, if you're watching, this is a good powder, but it does have talc. Okay, so just powder my T-zone there because we're gonna put on some liquid blush. I love these. <laughs> I think they're beautiful. The little um, weird looking con uh, containers or whatever, I, I really got past that, it's fine. So I have two colors. I have the Watermelon Marg color. This is their Daycation Whipped Blush. And I have Melon Mojito. Um, not going anywhere today, so I'm okay with looking weird. I'm gonna put one on each cheek so you can see what they both look like. You're welcome. Let me just unscrew the top. And it has. I also, so I watched the Jen Loves um, uh, live chat that she does every Sunday yesterday and I guess someone said that these look like a, a tiny little dog peenie if you know what I mean in a boat I can't get it out of my head now Man, not right guys not right <laughs> all right this one is melon mojito it is not easy to squeeze out of here I will admit that little bit more eh, squeeze I'm also not strong so it could just be me <laughs> look at that pretty pretty shine that's gorge y'all that's gorge you just gotta you just gotta get past the dumb container and you're fine because <laughs> it is a dumb container I'm not gonna on the other cheek, I will do the watermelon marg. That was um, melon mojito. Oops, I mean, this one comes out a lot better. Oh. And it's my favorite. Don't waste it. I don't want to waste it. So this one's much more pink, whereas this one's peachy. Um, Kelly also mentioned on her video earlier that uh, she thinks these are kind of a decent dupe for the um, Charlotte Tilbury glow wands. I mean, dupe as in you're not saving much in the way of money, <laughs> but they have that similar um, like highlighty, glowy, gorgeous effect. I do have extra of the, my favorite one, what is this one? The Watermelon Marg. I'm gonna kinda go over this, see if I can kinda make my cheeks match. If not, who cares? Working from home today. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But I love this. Love this. It's the perfect summer blush, really, because of the the shine. Okay. Um, no eyeshadow palettes from <laughs> from Bite. So I'm going to do a super quick, um, simple look with my Sigma New Mod palette. And I know, could this literally be any more beautiful? No, no it couldn't. All right, I don't wanna use their brush. I wanna use my brushes. I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush and just kind of go in the crease with Sophisticated, which is a light tan, tannish brown color. I'm just gonna put that in the crease only. Just a little bit. And I did um, put a little foundation on my eyelid, so hopefully that's enough for today's quick, simple look as far as uh, primer for my eyes. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my lights, but I feel like this side always looks darker and this side looks lighter, but I have a light on each side of my face, so there should be no difference. Help me out if you know. <laughs> Hokey. That's it for that. And then I'm just going to yes. take the REM Beauty. I think it's their liquid eyeshadow or something like that. It's Fembot. It's gorgeous. I'm going to put that on the lid. I love this color. The color is like my jam. Like the kind of color... If I'm dreaming about eyeshadow at night and 
yeah I do that sometimes this is the color that I see in those dreams weird maybe but I think I've mentioned I'm pretty obsessed with makeup oh yeah yeah I love the, that shimmer so much hopefully you can see it so you can understand why it's in my dreams for a good reason it's good stuff all right quick dollop of the bite mascara i love this stuff upswing um you can well i know tj maxx and marshall you know like can't ever guarantee anything but um my last i think it was two visits to tj maxx i did see these there the bite um minis and maybe they're a full size too i'm not for sure i know i got a mini last time i was there i've also mentioned that my lashes are kind of bleh <laughs> super thin and wispy don't really have any curl to them they're not super dark in color they're not quite blonde but almost which seems odd with the rest of my hair color. Oh my gosh, look at, oh, look at those baby hairs. Oh my gosh. That's a good look. You're welcome. But this stuff, straight, I mean, look. Look at this difference. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I know I've heard like a few people, they don't like this mascara. It's not their favorite. Do not love but I feel like those are people that already have really good lashes and they don't need a lot of uh, like coverage to their lash. They just need something to separate and lengthen. I need all the things, so. This is one of my favorites. I'm being a mess today, but oh my gosh, look at all that glitter. When I say quick, I mean hot mess. Just translate that in all future videos. You're welcome. For the bronzer, I'm not gonna go in with my stick today. I'm just gonna use some uh, powder bronzer and this is Tarte Park Avenue Princess. It's their Amazonian clay bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. I'll take my new bronzer brush from Real Techniques. It's the RT401. It's the one I've been using for my bronzer predominantly, or contour, whatever you want to call it. I do have in my Sephora cart though, um, so I didn't even actually know that uh, Bite made a powder. I just had never really paid attention. I'm so obsessed with some of their other items. I was just like, I buy this, I buy this, and not like do research. So I didn't know that they made a face powder until earlier today when Kelly mentioned it, Kelly Gooch, um, she used it on her channel. So I do have a powder in my cart. Um, they don't have any of the lighter shades left. So my hope is that I can get one of the darker shades to work as a um, bronzer for me. So that's my plan. I am, annoyingly though, I mean, unperfect timing really, I am on a no new makeup may challenge to not buy any new makeup <laughs> for the entire month of may so i'm a little worried <laughs> that um there's not going to be any of this wonderful bite stuff left for me as of june 1st so i don't know i'm kind of torn on do i break my promise to not buying new makeup in may or do I get it because I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna have much other chance, really. <laughs> I kind of feel like this is a, an exception to that rule. I mean, if one of your favorite brands is going, bye bye, you kind of, you kind of got to, I think, but I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Um, is this a good enough excuse to break my <laughs> no makeup may promise slash challenge? We'll see. All right, 
just a quick easy little bronzer look and now let's see I've used the primer the foundation the blushes I'm sure none of that's in focus by the way sorry the mascara now boys and girls it's time to get to my favorite uh, the lips love their lip colors it's like they were just perfectly made for all the people everyone can like I think even really darker skin tones could wear these because they'll really pop off of your skin like the the pastel isn't pastel in like a puke way it's like just a it's like a perfect everyone shade most of all of them that I have and I so I saw these go on sale in April and I freaked out and I ordered one of every color I think it's like two or three of videos before this one I did a full swatch of all the lips that I bought because they were half off and I was like oh please don't let them be going out of business little, 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 please 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 and they are so I'm glad I did that because some of them are sold out but so these three are probably my favorite because I have two of each of these so there's kava and it comes in a, a stick like this hi uh, friends this is Shannon and I want to apologize in advance for my lack of focus here sure I wasn't using a viewfinder shade. this is probably my first one I got and favorite favorite then there is fig and this I think is the one Kelly wore this morning it's just like the perfect pink and then praline oh, this one's new to me but I immediately bought two <laughs> love Okay, so for today's Libby look, it's gonna be kind of fancy, which doesn't make sense. Again, working from home, but I'm gonna outline my lips in kava and then use praline and we'll see how that looks. And this color, as you can probably see, is pretty much my perfect nude, which I have never ever found except for this <laughs> like I don't know how long lipsticks can last but I might get more I already have two but like literally look at that it's like my lips but the prettier <laughs> don't leave me don't leave me all right then going over with praline I don't think I've ever been more happy in my life. That's so sad. Mm. All right, well, at least I have two of each of these and maybe I can find a Bite Beauty lip bar somewhere and, you know, make these exact same colors because I love them. I know this was a quick one, but that's probably good because most of my videos are so long because I can't stop talking. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, please share with all of your friends. Um, if anyone is thinking about grabbing some Bite Beauty items before they're gone, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, like cheeks, lips, stunning. You literally can't go wrong. So again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and join my super cool gang of old people and young people alike. I am very inclusive. I'll take anybody. Uh, so please subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Bye, everybody.